All right, discussion question time here on the channel. This is something I talk to a lot of people on Twitter about in DMs. So I'm going to bring it to light here on the YouTube channel. Um, if you're not following me on Twitter, please follow at BQ Speaks. And I'm now on Instagram at BQ Speaks. And before I get into this, I've uh, started a petition about bringing back the Knockouts Tag Team titles. In the description here, you can uh, sign that petition. If you do not want to bring them back, that is fine. I've received a lot of angry messages. Like, you're not going to change my opinion, first of all. <laughs> I think in my video, I I laid out a pretty good um, vision for for uh, it, it being more of a touring belt and working with the independent companies and partner promotions. Like, everyone keeps taking it back that there's not enough knockouts. Like, yes, I know I said that in the video. Anyway, if, if you're interested in that, uh, it's in the description. If you're not, that's totally fine, too. Um so let's talk here. Let's talk more action, I believe, was the tagline that Impact never really officially put out there, but it seemed like it was a mission statement for 2018. Let me tell you why I love Impact Wrestling and why I chose Impact Wrestling when I decided that my life was too busy to follow everything. Because I always felt that TNA and Impact was the perfect blend and balance of wrestling and storyline. You kind of got WWE, which is, I guess, a lot of storyline and, and doesn't really deliver pay-per-view quality matches that often. And then you got Ring of Honor, where it's like balls to the wall all the time, but there's just no story. Like, what are they, what are they wrestling for? And I thought the early NXT days, when it was like really developmental, did a good job with that too. But I think this is something that even in the low points over the last several years, I always thought they did a good job of balancing the two. So I want to know in the comments, guys, if you're on the side that wants better matches or if you're the side that really is more interested in the creative. And I'm still, I don't know where I'm at yet. In 2016, 2017, like I can't think of a single match that I was just like, man, this is like match of the year stuff. Um, especially last year, I, I want to say uh, a couple years ago, there were there were some. Um, I think 2015 might have been that might have been the EC3 Spud hair versus hair match. But you know, to me, I mean, that was just like a really impactful match. But we haven't had anything, you know, real crazy wrestling wise. You could you could argue that the barbed wire massacre three is up there. I personally really liked the match. Some people felt it was soft, but I felt everyone in there really, truly busted their ass. And, you know, if you thought it was soft, then let's see what you got. You know what I mean? But uh, I really think that they do need to step up the wrestling a little bit. And it's safe to say in the first three episodes, that really seems the focus, especially with Sanjay on commentary, because he's making it sound a little more realistic. After two weeks ago, two, two week two weeks ago's <laughs> episode, I thought Sanjay was awful on commentary. I was like, get this guy out of there. And then this past week, I loved it. So we got to see what happens in the future with that. As far as I know, this is still a temporary commentary change because Josh Matthews is supposed to come out of the booth. I don't know if they're going to go with Don Callis because Sanjay's doing a good job. They're, you know, Obviously talking to Kelly, Kevin Kelly, and I've been told they, they reached out to Joey Styles, but they don't know if he's interested or not. You know, that, that's kind of unknown, but I know they at least talked to him. So, um, but I thought Sanjay is really adding some realism to it, and he's like really up to date with what's going on. So let me know in the comments, folks, really, you know, if you kind of like this wrestling direction they're going and uh, I want to say the first two episodes, I thought the matches were solid. But this this episode last week, I really thought the wrestling was really good. I was really engaged in every match. And I thought that Austin Aries and Eli Drake match was great. So I'm really liking this because I, I, I want, you know, I want this year to be the year that there's some match of the year stuff going on. But I don't want them to get too far away from the creative because I want I do want storylines to follow because that's how you get into a wrestler. I mean, look at look at what Jimmy Jacobs is adding to that Abyss and Congo Kong storyline. Because if if it was just Abyss versus Congo Kong, like we would just like please, we would be like, please get this match out of the way. You know what I mean? Like two big guys, um, 
you know, they were going to do the Congo Kong Tyrus thing for a while. And a lot of people are like, I don't want to see that. So this is kind of the same thing, but Jimmy Jacobs, what he's adding creatively and, you know, when they went in the, uh, parks, parks and parks or park, park and park, uh, office. And just when he was talking, I was so engaged with him sitting there. Um, he's great. He's great. And just his inclusion has made that match. Like I really want to see it now. So that's all I've got folks. But, uh, let me know in the comments, would you just, what do you think about this new direction so far? And do you want more creative? Do you want more wrestling? Let me know. Thanks for listening. Please hit that subscribe button here on the Impact Lounge. I will be debuting the B-Side podcast very soon. As I've said, I've stepped down from the weekly Impact review. I've not stepped down from this YouTube channel. A lot of people thought that's what I said. And maybe I didn't articulate, articulate myself well enough. I'm just stepping down from the weekly Impact review. But I'm going to be doing my own review called the b-side it's going to be much different as far as the format goes and as of now it's only going to be on google play itunes and podcast and uh stitcher if you're one of the few that that mess with stitcher um it could come on youtube in the future but i'm trying to kind of keep it exclusive to uh streaming audio so again please hit subscribe here on the lounge let me know what you think of the comments and i'm out peace